Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jama for those that are new, okay? I'm a content creator based in Ontario, Canada. Guys, you are welcome. So I actually told you guys to ask me questions some months ago um, and you guys came up with so many questions and, and part of the questions were why I, le why I left the United States for Canada. So yeah, this is a video right here. But I told you guys I was going to make a sit-down video to explain why I left. So that is it. If this is the kind of video you want to watch, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, okay? You can also turn the notification bell on so as to get notified whenever I post a video, okay? So let's go straight into today's video. Yeah, I don't even know where to start from. <laughs> there are a lot of reasons, like, ha, oh my God, the reasons were much, oh, I will not even lie. The reasons were much, but I'm going to be... I'm going to be listing like these two major reasons that made me like I had it up to my neck that uh, it choke. I cannot like oh my god no 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 this is I'm done. So I had a lot of reasons, but these are the two major reasons that I was like no. It became a bit scary for me. I was like no 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 I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done. These are the two major reasons, but there were other reasons actually that made us leave. Okay, so number one was. That period, um, that was in 2016-2017 when the school shooting were so much. I don't know if you guys remember then. School shooting were so much in the United States. Like there was there was no week you don't report school shootings, school shootings here, school shootings there. And I got really scared. And that was that same year that I want to enroll my son. Then my son was about three years old. I had just one child then. I gave birth to the second child in the United States, my second child in the United States. So, but then I was pregnant when I left Nigeria. So, I had only one child then. I was so paranoid that I registered my son already for preschool or something that starts at three years old or something like that. Yeah. I was like, ha. I was so paranoid for other mothers. Though my son has not started school then. But I was so paranoid for other mothers that take their kids to school. Like, you just take your kids to school and the next thing you hear that this shooting affected your child. I, in fact, you just, you will just blame yourself for the rest of your life so i just don't want to put myself in that situation i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god it's like we're going to put this school thing on a hold though we are going to put it on a hold because i cannot deal i cannot deal you know my daughter was nothing will happen i said please let's just wait and see what is happening because this school shooting thing is coming too much there's no week you don't report school shootings in another state then so as if that was not enough in 20 end of 2017 i almost died to think that that same week i was having dreams of dreams of death even my sisters my sister had series of death dreams hovering around my family i never knew that dream was for me I actually went out where did i even go to that i can't even remember where i went to so I called my husband to pick me up. That was towards evening. That was that should be around seven p.m. at night. So it's like I went to church. I can't remember where I went to. I told my husband, okay, come pick me up. My husband was like, I'm seven minutes away. Okay, I was like, okay, I'm here. Meet me at this junction. So I was standing on a bus bus station, like a bus stand. Um, you know, if if you're if you're even in Canada here in the United States, you know all these bus you have number, so so number. It's, it's like a pool. Uh -huh. So I was just leaning, I was just leaning on that pole, waiting for my husband to mind my business. When one car like that, it looks like not this illust kind of car, but I don't know the name, came almost got into that spot where I stood, and diverted to my to my to my to my um, direction, and tried to hit me with a full force speed. Unfortunately for him, unfortunately for me, he hit the pole that was leaning on, and the pole fell, and also fell alongside. Another person would have come down from the vehicle and tried to help me and know if I'm okay and all that. No, what I was hearing in that car was using the F word. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't want to use the word on YouTube. You know. That was the word I was hearing. It was so loud. Fucking fuck. I was just, I don't even know what it was saying. All I could remember was fuck. And the accent was like a black American kind of accent. The accent, you know. So, and, um, laying on the floor, and I was actually pregnant. I was actually pregnant with 
my third child. Yeah, my third pregnancy. Yeah, that was actually my third pregnancy. Yeah, so I was actually pregnant then, and then I fell down. And trying to put my brain together to understand what just happened now. Trying to open my eyes. The vision was a bit blurry. And uh, with that blurry vision, I saw this same car. Now trying to reverse, to run me over on reverse. If that guy had run me over, I would have been dead. Because it was with the full force speed. I, I, what I had was I had to stack us to do stack and then flew. I don't fl I don't even know where I flew to one flower this the like a few. I don't I can't remember just I cannot remember. When I flew to that other side, when I flew to that other side, I the man now zoom and zoomed off. And it was and the, even when he was zooming off, he was still fucking fuck. I zoomed off. Very sure if that guy had a gun, he would have shot me. I don't know. Maybe he was angry. He was depressed. He was... I cannot say what... what I, I just cannot explain. I had bruises all over my nails, my hand, my elbows, my face. My body was shaking. My body was shaking. People gathered. And um, I called my husband on the phone again that see I almost died to come. In fact, my husband died. To, my husband was actually close. This was just, you know, he was coming. It was about seven minutes away to pick me up. So he was almost there. When I called him, it was like one to two minutes away. I was like, oh my God, I'm, you know, my husband was so confused. He now came and um, carried me. And um, we went to call the 911, saying there's no point. I told him there's no point calling 911. Just little bruises but he took me to the hospital with the car without calling the 911 thing and um oh my god i was traumatized when somebody was okay i didn't even tell you guys the the um the this thing after two days i started bleeding i had miscarriage after like two days i had miscarriage yeah i had miscarriage i miscarried that child so i was i was devastated I was devastated. I was so scared. Everything scares me. I never knew. I I don't even know why I didn't go for therapy sessions that period. If I hear the sound of car, the horn, anything car scares me that period. Maybe I my husband we're in grocery store and I hear somebody wants to start his car or I hear vroom vroom vroom. I will start shaking. I was so traumatized that period. This took about a year, a year I was so, even when I moved to Canada, I was still, that trauma didn't leave with me for, even when I moved to Canada, that trauma didn't even leave. I was still so traumatized for almost a year. When I got home, I told my husband, this is it. Mm -mm. We're done. It's nice doing business with you, you know, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought we were done. Like, oh my god, and um, the third reason again was when we had a news one of our church members who has been in US for almost 10 years, he's a citizen already, he was in US for almost 10 years, he was on call with his wife, and um, he now overtook one car like that. Normally, now you know, but overtaking is allowed, you know, but so they, they call it street rage. Mm, Abby. Is that what it's called? Yes, street rage. Overtook somebody, generally, or overtook somebody. And the person was angry that he overtook. The person that overtook my church member and shot him on the spot. And he died on the spot. I can't forget that guy. I can't forget. I can never forget. He died while talking to his wife on the spot. He had to jam one finish station like that. That was how he just died. He just died. So all these things put together, I was like, enough. Enough, enough, enough. So this was my reason for, there are other reasons actually that I can't mention. I can't, I can't see everything here, but these are just the major reasons I told my husband. I was pressuring my husband, let's go to Canada, let's go to Canada, let's go to Canada. I have so many, I have a lot of like friends that can just call and all that. 
just to ask one or two questions about Canada. I was like, let's go to Canada. I'm done here. I'm done here. I'm done here. I'm done here. So that was why um, we were trying to approach my husband. I was like, okay, for Canada, here we come. <laughs> Canada, here we come. So that was uh, why we left. And other reasons, like I told you guys, it's not like United States as a whole is bad. People, there are people that have lived there all their life. They are still alive, you know. But I just, I just, my spirit left there. Like, my spirit, soul, and body just, my spirit and soul left there. It meant my body. I was like, my body should leave here also because I am so done. So, you know, I said it's still a very, very good country that I hope to visit. Like, I have families there. I have friends there that, in fact, I'm even working on visiting. That will be my next vacation location, maybe next year. No, the United States are very it's, very, it's a very, very good country. Don't get me wrong. But, because it worked for me, it didn't work for me. Like, it didn't work for me. And I had to just like, okay, let me leave. Let me come to Canada. And I had this peace coming to Canada. I had this peace of mind, this safety. It's not like Canada is 100% safe. There is no way in this world I see. Don't get me wrong. There are still shootings happening in, in Canada. But not to be compared with the United States, you know. Not to be compared, the, the, the difference is huge. So it's not like Canada is even safe a hundred percent. So it's not like it's safe. No way it's safe in this world. No way it's safe. You know. But then comparing it to United States, I don't know if it's because of the the state. We we believe in Eastern Texas. I don't know because I know Eastern Texas are full of thugs. Like ruggedity is too much there. So I don't know other states. Like my friend who the husband is from Tennessee. Satan is a very calm, hardly year gone, whatever, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. That is my story, guys. That is my story. So, if you enjoyed this story, guys, please, please give it a thumbs up. Oh, don't forget. Okay? Give it a thumbs up. And um, like, share, and subscribe. Okay? I'm going to see you guys in my next video. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I don't even know what to eat. Alright guys, so I'm going to catch up with you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.